Good evening, families. Welcome to our annual Parent Night for juniors and seniors. My name is Michelle King. I'm one of your assistant principals for curriculum instruction here at Lamar High School. We have a lot of information to cover for you, and I hope that we are able to answer many of your questions by the end of this presentation. I would like to introduce our counseling staff as well as our college and career technician. Mrs. Haney is our counselor for any student whose last name starts with A through CQ as well as our Native American students. Mrs. Bratton is our AVID 9 and Pathways counselor. She is also a counselor for any student whose last name starts with CR through F. Mrs. Rojas is our counselor for students whose last name starts with G through L. Mrs. Erickson is our counselor for students whose last name starts with M through RG, as well as our AVID 10th and 12th grade students. Mrs. Hansen is our counselor for students whose last name starts with RH through Z, as well as our AVID 11th grade students. Coach Calderon is our college and career technician. If you have any further questions after this presentation, please refer to this slide for each counselor's contact information, as well as our college and career technician's contact information. I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Rojas to start off our presentation, and I hope that you have a great evening. Thank you so much. Hi there, this is Mrs. Rojas to give information on attendance for distance learning. Code G means the student was engaged or present in Google Meets. Code N means the student was not engaged or absent in Google Meets. Code B means the student has completed homework for the day they were absent. So at the end of the week, the N code will be changed to B if the student completed at least 60% of the week's work. Code F is for excused absences. If your child is to be absent, please call the attendance line at 559-924-6600, extension 2220. If your child is out for a specific class period, please call after your child returns to class. For example, your student went to a dental appointment during first through third periods. The call should then be made during fourth period. Please call the attendance line and leave a message for the attendance clerk. Here's an example. My child, state first and last name, missed periods one, two, and three because of a dental appointment. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Yvette Hansen and I'm going to be presenting on reading a transcript. This transcript is an example of a student starting their junior year. Each square box signifies a semester. Each year has two semesters, one fall semester and one spring semester. As you can see, there are four semesters posted, which are equal to two years, which this shows a student's freshman and sophomore year. The middle box after the last semester will list the courses currently in progress. Moving to the very top, you will see the student's name, ID number, grade, birth date, and counselor assigned to your child. To the far left will be demographic information, which includes parent's name, address, and phone number. On the bottom left corner, you will see the GPA section listing the academic GPA, total GPA, along with class rank and size. Please keep in mind AP classes receive an extra grade point. The bottom middle section will list community service hours that the student has turned in to team tradition. At this time, community service is on hold due to the pandemic. However, 40 hours is the total hours that must be completed as a graduation requirement. On the far right, you will see a credit summary box listing a subject area and three columns, credit required, credits completed, and credits needed. Each student is required to complete a total of 260 credits. These credits include four years of English, 40 credits, one year of US history, 10 credits, 
World history, one year, 10 credits. American government, five credits, one semester. Economics, five credits, one semester. Geography, one year, 10 credits. Science, three years, 30 credits. Math, three years, 30 credits. Physical education, three years, 30 credits. Fine arts, 10 credits, or they can take a foreign language in that area. And electives, 80 credits. As a student completes a class with a D or better, they will earn five credits per class per semester, which will deduct from the total needed column to meet the 260 credits required to earn a high school diploma. Thank you for your time, and I'll send it to Ms. Haney, who will be going over colleges and universities. Hi, and welcome. My name is Laura Haney, and I'm here to present to you colleges and universities. In California, anyone can go to college. There are over 300 colleges and universities. There are several types. One, California Community Colleges, Vocational Propriety, Four-Year Institutions, which are California State University, also known as CSUs, the University of California, also known as UCs, and Independent Colleges and Universities. This slide describes the access to college option number one. Once graduating from high school, you can register at a community college for two years and then transfer to California State University, CSU, University of California, UC, or a private university. Did you know that there are 114 community colleges in California? Now you're probably asking yourself, what are the benefits? Well, you can explore educational opportunities, the college is close to home, have small class sizes, affordable, and you can earn a certificate for a program, earn associate's degree, and or transfer to a four-year college. Next, we will discuss the approximate cost for community college. The cost per unit is $46, which on average one class is usually three units. So the cost for the one class would be $138. For the year, the cost would be around $1,104. Books and supply fees cost around $1,566 a year. Transportation fees cost around $899 a year. Personal items would cost around $2,394 a year. Housing, where most students live at home, leaving a total of $5,963 per year, depending on which community college you attend. This slide explains how to get started at West Hills Community College. You need to apply for admissions to West Hills Community College. Make sure you completed a dual enrollment form for those of you applying while attending Lamore High School. Attach your transcript to the dual enrollment form. Apply for financial aid only for your senior year. Complete an online orientation. Meet with a counselor. Register and pay for classes. Now let's talk about vocational colleges. Admission requirements vary. Vocational colleges are used for job training and immediate employment. You can obtain and enroll in a certificates program or associate's degree available. Tuition costs is more than a community college. It may or may not be accredited by WASP. Like some examples are San Joaquin Valley College, ITT, and Lawrence Beauty College. Next is the four-year colleges and universities. Option number two from high school. You can apply straight to a four-year California State University, which is also known as CSU, University of California, which is also known as UC, or a private university. In order to apply to a four-year, a student must take 15 required high school courses which are also known as the A through G requirements. Here's a description of them. A, history, two years. B, English, four years, must be college prep. C, mathematics, three years or four years recommended, must include integrated math 1P, integrated math 2P, integrated math 3 or accelerated. D, lab science, two years required or three years recommended, must include biology and chemistry. E, foreign language, two years required or three years recommended, which needs to be the same foreign language. F, visual performing arts, one year. G, college prep elective, one year required. Now, it's very important that grades of a C or better are required in order to apply. There are 23 campuses of California State University, which are all the way up north in Humboldt to all the way down south in San Diego. 
You can create an account today if you're a senior and have completed with a 3.0 GPA minimum of a 15 A through G courses or eligibility index, have taken the SAT or ACT without the writing test. Fee for the application is $70. Also, there is an early bird registration deadline from October 1st to October 31st. If you filed a regular application, the deadline is November 30th. And please be advised of the many impacted schools and majors. The approximate CSU cost. For tuition, the fee is $6,633. Miscellaneous fees, around $1,700. Books and supplies are around $1,624. Meal housing varies by campus. Transportation also varies by campus. And personal items is around $2,614, depending on necessities, given a grand total of $22,577 per year. There are a total of nine universities at California campuses, one being UC Davis, UC Berkeley, UC Santa Cruz, UC Merced, UC Santa Barbara, UCLA, UC Riverside, UC Irvine, and UC San Diego. Now the University of California requirements, they take the top 9% of the senior class. The average freshman GPA is 3.7 or higher. To apply, you will need to have taken the SAT or ACT with writing once your junior year and again your senior year. Deadline is November 30th. Essays are required for application and the application fee is $70. The approximate UC cost, tuition fees are $13,300 a year. Book fees are $1,500 a year. Health and insurance fees are $1,900. Room and board fees are $14,000. Personal and transportation fees are $2,400, giving a grand total of $33,100 per year living on campus. Now let's talk about independent universities. One, there's a wide variety of environments, which you need to focus on the major size of the campus, and some even have religious beliefs. Two, tuition also varies up to $30,000 a year. You can apply for scholarships and financial aid to help support the cost. Most private institutes prefer the CSU, UC's entrance requirements, and applications are personally reviewed. This next slide is a listing of all independent colleges and universities. And next are some helpful websites to remember. California College EDU to apply to community colleges. WW2 Cal State EDU for California State Universities. University of California EDU to apply University of California. And the AICCU.edu for independent colleges. Next, Ms. Erickson will present the ACT and SAT test. Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy Erickson. I'm going to be talking about college entrance testing, the SAT and the ACT test. Either test is required for admission to four-year colleges and universities. However, due to the coronavirus pandemic, both the UC and CSU systems have decided that the SAT or ACT will not be required for students applying for fall 2021 admission meaning that the testing requirement has been temporarily suspended. The test dates for the SAT or Scholastic Aptitude Test are listed. Typically, Lamar High School gives the SAT test on the first Saturday in November and June every year. The test can be taken on alternative test dates at Hanford High School. Register online at collegeboard.org. The SAT reasoning and subject test fees are listed. The SAT with essay is $68 and the SAT without essay is $52. Fee waivers are, are available for qualified students. The ACT test or American College testing is given at LHS in October and April. On the other national test dates listed, the test can be taken at Hanford High School. Register for the ACT test at www.act.org. 
the SAT without writing costs $55 and the ACT plus writing is $70. Fee waivers are available for qualified students. To qualify, a student must be eligible for pre or reduced lunch. I'm now going to turn over the presentation to Coach Calderon. Hello, I'm Coach Calderon. I'm the College and Career Technician here at LHS. I am going to go over the Career Center, Financial Aid, and Scholarships. Here are some topics you can find information on at the Career Center. If you have any questions, please call 559-924-6600, extension 2306. You can also email me, which is listed below. Application will open October 1st of 2020. Their deadline will be March 2nd of 2021. Some typical items that you will need to fill out your applications are listed below. Knowing your college's FAFSA school code will also help. Many ask why we need to fill out FAFSA. Well, it helps you pay for school, our school supplies, and if you also plan on applying for scholarships, many scholarships ask if you apply for financial aid. College of Sequoia will host a FAFSA workshop December 2nd, 2020 from 4 to 6 via Zoom. Now on to scholarships. The more Union High School District Foundation scholarships will be posted in the scholarship handbook that will be available on the Web Career Center website March 1st, 2021. Community scholarships will be posted on the Lamore High Career Center website as they are sent to us. Community scholarships will have a different date than the foundation scholarship. Be careful with outside scholarships. There are companies that will try to gather students' information or charge you to apply for scholarships. Keep in mind, you'll never have to pay to apply for a scholarship. FastWeb.com can help you find more scholarships. You can make a profile with your interests or accomplishments, and FastWeb will help you find scholarships to apply for. FastWeb does the investigation work for you. Remember, if you have any questions, please contact me by phone or email. Hello, this is Christina Broughton, and I will be sharing information about the National Collegiate Athletic Association, also known as the NCAA. The NCAA Eligibility Center is an organization that checks the academic eligibility status of all prospective student athletes that plan on attending an NCAA Division I or Division II college. This information is important for student athletes or parents of student athletes. There are quick reference guides that are available in each counseling office, and in the guide, students are able to find registration information, Division I and Division II eligibility requirements, the 16 core course rules, a transcript release form, and also answers to frequently asked questions. On this slide, you can see the NCAA Division I academic requirements. Listed on the left, you can see requirements for a student to be a full qualifier, which includes completing 16 core courses in specific subjects. 10 of these courses must be completed before the start of a student's senior year, and seven of the 10 courses must be in English, math, or science. Students must earn at least a 2.3 GPA and graduate from high school. Also in the quick reference guide, a sliding scale for SAT or ACT scores can be found, which is based on the student's GPA. On the right, you will see the requirements for a student to redshirt during their first year of college. This slide does look similar, however, these are the NCAA Division II academic requirements. On the left, you can see the requirements for a student to be a full qualifier, and on the right, the requirements for a student to be a partial qualifier. So you may be asking when your student should register, and students can register at any time during high school, but they typically do during their junior or senior year. The Eligibility Center does not verify that a student is on track with eligibility until after their junior year. But if you or your student is interested in registering with the Eligibility Center, you will want to go to the website listed on this slide, www.eligibilitycenter.org, to register your account. There is a fee of $75 unless a student qualifies for a fee waiver for the SAT or ACT by qualifying for free or reduced lunch. After a student registers, they will need to take their transcript or release form to the registrar in the LHS front office. After they submit their transcript release form. Mrs. Dufer or I will send their transcript after their junior year and again after they graduate so the Eligibility Center can confirm that the student has met the academic requirements. Each high school does have a list of courses which have been approved by the NCAA Eligibility Center and students can see their counselor for a list or find it on our LHS counseling website. 
Moving on to the next part of this presentation, counselors will be scheduling meetings with each senior starting at the end of September through the month of October. But I also wanted to share with you the new LHS Counseling website, which can be found on the site noted on the slide, or it can be found through our Lamar High School website. So when you go to the Lamar High School website, under students, you'll want to hover over students. And you can click on counseling and it will bring up our new counseling website and you'll be able to see your or your student's counselor and our contact information on here. Also at the top, you will see several tabs that you can click on for information and resources. When tabs do have an arrow such as college applications, there is a drop down box that comes up. So you can click, for example, on UC application and information will be down below. Also at the end under more, if you hover on more, additional tabs will come up that you can click on such as NCAA, grading periods, and mental health. And the last thing that I wanted to show you on this site is California Colleges. So if you click on this, it will direct you to different resources and information in regards to californiacolleges.edu. And I also want to show you the website. So Lemoore High School has partnered with California Colleges, so your student does have access to this website. When they are on here, they will want to click on sign in to sign into their account. So their information does save, and so we have access to viewing it as well. And so students, when they click sign in, they can sign in with Google, and which is the easiest. They will use their Lemoore High School email address, and the password is the same that's used to log into their Chromebook or to their email. And if your student has not registered, which most have last year, but if your student has not registered, they can click on register and they can register their account. And the last thing is we are asking our seniors to complete the interest profiler. So seniors, if you can please sign in, you'll want to hover over career and then you will click on interest profiler. And juniors, feel free to do this as well, but seniors, we are asking that you complete this before we meet with you. So seniors, if you click on this, you will fill out information about your interests and it can match you to colleges or a career. And that's the ending of our presentation. So if parents or students, if you do have any questions for us, feel free to contact us. Our information is on our website or it can be found here. And if you do have any questions regarding the financial aid application or scholarships, you can also contact Coach Calderon. Thank you so much and have a good rest of your day.